This is the Vic-32, the last of the Clyde puffers which were used to transport goods up and down the west coast of Scotland. The 80-year-old monster of a vessel will be our rival as we race across Scotland through the Caledonian Canal from Fort William to Inverness. Despite its vintage status, the Vic-32 would be a formidable opponent with a disciplined crew and its 120 horsepower steam engine. The race would consist of three legs, with the winner of the third leg taking home the trophy. Along the way we will face 10 locks, 6 swing bridges and 20 miles of canal which could easily prevent us from overtaking the Vic. I would be captaining the Tarrant A with two cabin boys, Alex and Cobbo. On the Balmoral would be crew members Will, Chels and Sophie, with Captain Schmid on the helm. The crew had enjoyed a night out the day before, but there was no time to waste. We were up early to get through our first obstacle of this race, the famously unreliable Moy Swing Bridge. There's Ben Nevis behind us there, in the gap in the clouds. It's about five to seven. We'll be away at seven, back down the canal. Mad old mountain range, innit? Yeah, proper crazy. Like coming towards us, bro. Morning. We left Ban Abbey at about seven o'clock this morning. Got to Moy Bridge in good time for half nine when uh, it was supposed to be opening. But uh, half nine has been and gone. And we're still waiting for the bridge to be opened. So, uh, Scotland, get your act together. Oh my god. I mean, that's like a bathtub, isn't it? It's got a sail as well. Are we on our way through then, boys? Me and Wildong's on the ropes in the Balmoral. Okay. Rise up to here, right? That's at least 10 foot. <laughs> right. Sam's boat's getting pushed around by the turbulence at the front of the lock of the water coming in. We had made it through the first lock before the Vic. Convinced we were well ahead, we moored up for a shower. To our surprise, the steamer had caught up, blowing its whistle to taunt us as it took the pole position. Yes! We knew we had to reach Lagan Locks before the Vic to avoid being stuck behind it in the canal. Right, we're on Lock Locky, and it's quite windy, so the waves are fairly big. We've got the steamer ahead of us. We've got wheel dogs and shells behind us. in the red and we're about to pull up before the locks at Lagan which means we've only got Lagan Avenue and then half a block oik left today before we moor up and go for some tasty scrap so on we go what the fender saying will they all right 
Get ready to yeet that rope, Charles. Right, go, Charles. Yes. I'm going on the red. All we need is a competent driver on here. Charles is a competent driver. Yeah, I'll do it. Having destroyed the Vic on Loch Lochie, we believed we had a clear path all the way back to Inverness, so we took our time through my favourite section of the Caledonian Canal, Lagan Avenue. That's the best one so far. Madlal Tunnel. I wonder where it goes. Oh, we've got the dog in the canoe. Oh, the dog's got a little shark life jacket. Morning. Look at the shark fin on the back. That's so funny. In comes the Balmoral. We're in. We had made it to our mooring at the Invergarry Castle on Loch Oik, where we would explore, swim, and go for a hearty meal. Sunken vessel. But they all do. Grab my hand, I'll hold you, then walk up the side of this boat. Oh, Whoa. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll lean back so you can walk it. Mad, we've actually done it. Right, move on then. Every Mark. time I've seen this, I've wanted to go on it. I'm for going around up the top, me. Yeah. It looks like a disaster's happened. Seeing the water in, in the actual cabin, you know what I mean? Don't climb in. Whoa. That's Mingan. The Great Glen. There's a lot of water in there. Back to the red. Right, pull the red in. <laughs> Slammed. Yes. Easy. We're in. <laughs> and that's the Great Glen explored. Many years I've wondered what lay inside the Great Glen. And now we know. Absolutely Not a lot. Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He's in. That cold. Hi, 
Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Feeling refreshed, we headed to the Invergary Hotel for dinner. I've never had a king prawn sauce from a steak before, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Does anybody want my tomatoes? With our stomachs full, we retired to the cruisers, safe in the knowledge we had beaten the Vic 32 on the first leg. We woke to the distinct sound of a steam engine. It was the Vic 32 getting ready for the second leg of the race. The Vic had taken the lead, so we woke our crew and chased on in an attempt to reach the next swing bridge before it. Failure to do this would result in the team being stuck behind the 49-ton vessel until Loch Ness. Steamer got destroyed, and here comes the bridge. Bin. The Mary Joanne made it through, but could the cruisers take home the win? By the skin of our teeth, we had beaten the Vic to the lock. We were neck and neck as we descended into the next section of canal. <laughs> They're so tiny in comparison. I imagine that. Vito! <laughs> Surely you can do it. Surely you can unhook it. That's 50, Sam. That's 50. Go on, skill. Whip it, Alex. Nail it. Whip it, Alex. Whip it. Bob's away. to get out of this lock before the Vic to avoid being stuck behind it at the top of Fort Augustus. Go on, Mel. Go on, Mel. Yay! Right, we're away. in Fort Augustus. Get up! Cheers, Soph. Right, we've 
made it into the first lock at Fort Augustus. Gates are closed. Chelsea's ready to show us her big muscles by dragging us along. Get up! Will and his weedy arms are gonna pull up the back. Come on, Chels. So it must have dropped the bow. Ten foot. Ooh. I say that every time, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> every time it's ten yeah. foot. Halfway already. Two more locks to go. Yeah. Get the can, Sophie. Oh, Wait. Oh. So, so yeah, you are one. You've got to stay hydrated when you're doing activities like these. You're essentially in charge of a vehicle, same as in the car. You can actually dump it up. Could you? Seriously. Sorry, guys. Something's got to be a responsible adult. <laughs> you've already drank yours. Band. You've already drank. Did you say all of it? Right, we're halfway down the final lock, and Alex is about to redeem himself from four years ago when he almost crushed our sailing boat. Four years ago, I was sat in this exact position in a wooden sailing boat and nearly went straight into the opening gate and crushed the front of it. Goon to hero in four years. Redemption. Redemption Now redemption for me, yeah? Get up the redemption! Four years in the making. So the gentleman that went out to the tender going like he was Nicky Lauder, uh, there is a speed just limit of seven knots on the canal. We'd appreciate if you would uh, obey that, please. Cha 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 cha. We had won the second leg and secured our place on the pontoon. We were now free to do whatever we wanted while a Vic 32 was still waiting to get down the locks. <laughs> right, we're in. Get me in. Lean out. Yeah, just do a backflip off the side. I'll try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go on. Yeah. So, go on, so. Ah. Go on, go on, go on. Go on. Yeah. Well done. That was a good effort, that. That was a really good effort. That's the first ever OIZ backflip. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Here's the steamer from earlier. We well and truly beat on the race. They've been waiting all day to get down these locks. Evening. <laughs> you waiting all day to get down? Yeah. Oh, no, you're down now. Just about. Just about. <laughs> Will's ordered a fish butty. <laughs> that costs <laughs> over £10. Over £10 pound <laughs> for a fish butty. That, yeah, that is fish butty. It's definitely a fish butty, isn't it, Sam? Oh, you can say that. <laughs> We woke to a valley full of mist and the Vic 32 was nowhere to be seen. Sam had fallen ill through the night. Was the Balmoral out of the race? Winning the first and second leg would count for nothing if we were defeated on the final stretch. I set off on the Tarrance, hoping to find and overtake the Vic 32. This is mad. Literally can't even see out.
Loch Ness once again. Get up. Woo. How cold was that then? Yeah, colder than the other day, like. Colder. Oh, you're refreshed, yeah? Refreshing. Sam pulled his finger out and caught up to us in the middle of Loch Ness. The fog cleared and we had still not seen the steamer. Did we pass it in the fog or was it miles ahead of us? Are they in? No. Uh, uh, uh. I thought they were in there. I thought they were straight off the side of that. See you later. Cheers. Thank you, Sophie. Thanks, Sophie. Out of 10, how do you rate the old carbonara? Seven. Good job. Good job. Seven for quality, two for portion size. We had made it to the end of Loch Ness. We couldn't help but feel disappointed that our rival, the Vic 32, was nowhere to be seen. Had we been beaten, or was it behind us? While flying the drone, we spotted it ahead of us in the next lock. Would it be possible to get past it one more time? We approached and entered the lock. To our surprise, the Vic had moored up on the other side. By sheer chance, we had done it. The crew of the Vic 32 had not spotted us in the lock behind them until it was too late. Throughout the race, the steamboat proved itself to be a worthy opponent that earned our respect. With no effort to overtake, we had won. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. The film a cavity. <laughs>